So I recently found out that my father's uncle's sister's dog's owner's brother's cousin works at Nintendo. And before the real drizzle season is here, we'd like to show one of the planned update scripts that didn't make the cut. For good reason. Our first update is the brand new inking expansion. What is that, you may ask? We've gone ahead and added in all of the ink colors of the winning Splatfest teams to your local Turf War and Anarchy battles. Get ready for more variety than ever before with these colors. Today's update revolves primarily around the changes you'll see in the 2023 fizzle season. Why fizzle season? It's easy for young, excitable Inklings and Octolings to get a bit tired after a year of extreme turf war battles. So we've made sure to pass a message over to Judd to make sure all those tutorials are rolling again. It's the perfect way to get all that rust off before jumping back into battle. The other part that might make this update really fizz is the number of fizzy bombs we've added to the kits of this weapons update season. It's, uh, it's three. We gave it to three weapons. Place your bets now. You'll find out when the update comes out. What a fizz to read. But enough about that. We've got brand new updates for you to literally shake things up. Have you wanted to take a look at all the plaza posts in the Splatlands, but thought to yourself, man, oh man, it takes a long time to walk around the plaza. Well, we have the solution for you. Right now, the Jellyfish Construction Task Force is hard at work installing the best solar paneled industrial conveyor belts cash can buy to make sure that you never have to raise a tentacle again while traversing the streets of the Splatlands. Make your way from plaza post to plaza post just by standing there and maybe stop by Table Turf for a break. But how fair would it be if we only changed up Splatsville, right? Is that what you're thinking? What about Inkopolis? Then do we have a surprise for you? We've strategically increased the number of jellyfish standing around by 333%, meaning you can bounce, bump, and jump into many more jellyfish than before. Boing! <laughs> Sometimes they'll even make a full wall out of their bodies, meaning you'll have to go around them to get to your shop of choice. But they're just fun, silly little jellyfish. How could you ever get mad at them for that? We know you've been wanting more out of your Salmon Run experience, right? Which is why we're bringing you a brand new mode! Available specifically on Saturdays and Sundays, we think this challenging upgrade to Salmon Run will increase your survivability skills and help you really respect your Inkling and Octoling's health more. Welcome to Extra Hurt! The brand new Salmon Run mode where every Salmonid, from small fry to boss Salmonids, does more damage than usual. Depending on your hazard level, this value will change, ranging from about 1.5 times your usual damage to every Salmonid being capable in some way of a one-hit KO. Except the small fry. We, we wouldn't do that to you. We've also decided to set this mode exclusively on a brand new map. It's the return of a lost outpost! Put one of your teammates at every edge of this map's box-like infrastructure to be sure no Salmonid can sneak inside and take out your squad. Speaking of boxes, have you ever taken note of those rectangular stairs in the lobby? Something... something's a little off about them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 13, 13, 15, huh. It must be a design choice that we have yet to understand about Inkling Society. Our intern's goal is to install more of this exact staircase all over the Splatlands to make sure you feel fully immersed when traversing the town. Too game changing for you? All right, all right. Let's take a step back away from the ink for our last update, but definitely not least. The update you've all been waiting for we gave Shiver a calculator so she could finally know what a million times a million is. It will sit right at the top of her desk there. There's a one in a million chance her dialogue will be different when she asks Fry and Big Man about that when announcing Sam and Run's rotation. Don't skip the news or you'll miss out. We hope that you enjoy everything that Fizzle Season has to offer. See you in December. Seriously though, who, 
Who left that script anywhere where anyone could just read that? I I'm sure the next real update will be better than that. Right? 